mysterious disease X made it onto the agenda of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. The WHO director, World Health Organization, Director General Tur Turis Ananam, I'm knowing, but Garbiusis, I cannot pronounce his name, I apologize, joining other health officials to discuss it. This is recently, okay? Recently. A meeting titled Preparing for Disease X was spotted by the observers in the WEF agenda. Experts believe that the mysterious disease X could cause 20 times the deaths of the virus, the epidemic we just dealt with, which will remain nameless right now for many reasons. The cause of the mysterious disease X is currently unknown, yet it is considered to be a serious microbiological threat. Now these are all headlines that are happening right now. The, the punchline is at the end, stay with me on this. This is not a real virus. I know you're sitting there scratching your head, but trust me, the ending's got a boom to it. Okay, here we go. The news organization added that disease X in 2017 is on a short list of pathogens deemed to be top priority for research. That's a little manipulative because what is disease X really? Is it something that's floating in the air or is it a concept? You will see. In a book, the former chair of the UK Vaccine Task Force, Kate Brigham, issued a stark warning about the potential for the next pandemic to emerge from vast pool of unknown viruses. That's correct, okay? Just for record. Co-authored with the vaccine expert, Tim Hams, an expert from the book published in the Daily Mail, outlines their concerns about the next pandemic and calls for the enhanced pandemic preparedness. Okay, that's accurate. There could be a pandemic anytime, you never know. To his credit, Tim, does not name the potential virus to his credit. Didn't say disease X, it just said potential virus. He was recalling uh, the devastating impact of the 1918 flu pandemic, Bingham and Ham's note. The 1918 to 1919 flu pandemic killed at least 50 million people worldwide. I'll repeat that again. 50 million people worldwide. We have not seen a virus like that, have we? Now I want you to listen. This is, the, this is the boom at the end of the story. I want you to listen to this video carefully and I'll follow up, but this is amazing. And it's from the WHO organization five years ago. And it is posted on YouTube from the organization. Listen to what they said. There's no disease called disease X. So people have been hearing about this disease X, however, because WHO issued a list of certain diseases. What is that list? The list is um, a way to prioritize our efforts. I mean, WHO and all the partners working with WHO on certain disease that have the potential to give rise to a severe epidemic and for which we don't have enough or not, no medical countermeasure, meaning no drugs, no vaccine. So it's really to focus this effort on this specific group of disease. Just mention that is not an exhaustive list of disease. There are other diseases that can give rise to huge epidemics, but this one is only focusing on disease for which we have not enough drug and vaccine. So it's a list asking that, that donors, that researchers, uh, that scientists focus on these particular diseases that we're concerned about. Absolutely. So these are diseases that exist, except for at the end of the list, we wrote disease X. What was the idea of putting this disease that you said does not exist at the end of the, our list? So disease X is a concept. Let's say it's a placeholder. Is this not shocking? To is be this sure that if we have is a new disease, shocking to you? completely new shocking disease, to me or a disease when I investigated no, it. but not enough and suddenly emerge and is more severe or spreading everywhere, we will have a space to put the disease and to know that we need to put efforts on, in terms of research to get drugs and vaccine, let's say. So in a way, it's a reminder to remember the unknown. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dr. Mjolk. Thank you to you. If you are interested in learning more about disease X or the rest of this list of priority pathogens, go to who.int, our website, and you can search for the R&D blueprint. That will take you quickly to the list. Thanks very much. Well, it can't get any more clearer than that. The WHO organization created a, a, a name, yes, it's a name, uh, Virus X, 
but it's a concept of something coming in the future. It's not here now, nor is it coming immediately or in the near future, because they are saying it is. The headlines are, I've read you just some of the copy that is false right now. And these are major news organizations, and of course there's a lot of YouTube videos on it too. Disease X is still a concept of a future possible virus. That's what it's designated. It's not a real disease, guys. It's not. So if you want to find out the truth on stories, come here, come to Mustang Medic. If anything is jaw dropping and it just seems like, how could, oh my gosh, could that be true? And it's making headlines. I'm gonna be watching the headlines and I'm gonna be reporting on it, investigating it thoroughly and debunking the ones, you know how much I love that, debunking the ones that are not being truthful. I'm not gonna call people out by name, I've learned my lesson, but I am gonna call out the story and I am gonna quote from stories that are truly false, where the facts are, I'm gonna find them, I'm gonna present them. This is William Weeding. Please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you choose to donate as I seek the truth to report it to you, I'd be very grateful for that. Have a good one, guys. And this is a big one. I hope you watch it to the end so you know the truth. Thank you.